everybody what up it's Lamar and today I will be showing you how to root your HTC Evo 4G with the flat with HBoot 2.18.0001 and I don't know if you can see that but you know mine say yours says say lock down at the top mine say relock because I just relocked my phone but um so I can do this video but first things first what you do is you bring up this and you type in cmd enter and then you will get a command prompt and i'm gonna give you this um i'm gonna give you a link to a file to download and the file link is gonna be it's gonna say evo 4g gingerbread that's gonna be the link that i'm gonna get to y'all for you to download but anyway you download it and you right click and you copy and then you go over to your computer and you go into the C drive and then you hit right key over here and you hit paste and it'll show up right here as you can see these files will be seen and then you, what you do is you go back to your command prompt and you type in CD dash Roots Evo 4G Gingerbread. This is the name of that root on um, that file that I just showed you. Type in root Evo 4G Gingerbread. Hit enter and it should pop up like this. And then you come back to you come to your phone. And how you get your phone in the bootloader is you take the battery out, put it back in, and then you press down on the volume button, press the down volume button, and press and hold that and the power button until you boot up and you'll see the screen. And then you just click, for the order to click on fast boot, you just hit enter, and it should say fast boot, and then once you plug your phone into your computer, it'll say fast boot USB. I don't know how good y'all can see that. But anyway... Once you do that, you come back to your command prompt, and you, you type in fastboot, space, O, E, M, space, get, underscore, identifier, underscore token once you do that you hit enter and you'll see something like this and what you do is you come over here right click click mark you start right here under the line please cut the following message you start right there the arrow you go all the way down and make sure you get all of that and you hit right key again then you come to right Right here, you go to htcdev.com. You got to put your email in. This is you have to. This is a requirement. And then you click on unlock bootloader. Get started. Okay. Go down here. Your device is not going to be noted. Your Evo 4G will not be posted up. So you click on all other supported models to the bottom. You click begin. You click on yes. Click on the two check marks. You click unlock. You can skip all the way down. All these steps, I don't, I don't pretty much sum all this up for you. I got all the files and everything you needed already. You just go all the way down to step 10. See, as you can see, copy. That's what I had just told y'all. You can go all the way down to where you see. Plug get the charger. Computer by the laptop by the die. You go all the way down to my device token, you right click, and then you go down to paste. Over there. And then you click on. Submit after you paste, 
and it should say token success token submitted successfully and they'll send your email so once you go into your email as you can see HTC you go down and you'll see a file to say unlock code bin you click download this is why you have to sign up and you click on save And then what you do is you go to your download part of your computer and you go until you see that file right here, right click, you click copy, and then you go back into your C drive into that file that I showed you, your computer and go to C drive view, right click, and you click paste. Alright, once you do that. You bring out your command prompt. Make sure I get y'all the right steps. Okay. All right, as you can see. When you continue, you bring out your command prompt and you just type in what it say right there, fast boot flash unlock token. Make sure you have the on you uppercase capitalize or it won't go through underscore code dot bin once you do that you hit enter and you see it says successful and then if you notice your phone will now say unlock bootloader and say yes or no so you, you hit the volume up button and then you click the power button to select yes and your phone will power off and notice your phone will restart it's completely normal your phone will restart as you can see and it will be just like it was when you first got your phone. Don't bother with logging, out, logging into anything because you still haven't finished. And the only thing we have done is unlock your bootloader. You do not have custom recovery. There is more to come. And I will put a link into the file. I will put this custom recovery link into the file too so that you can have that. Because the one that you have now probably wouldn't work. So if it don't work, then I will put it on. The one I'm going to put in there will be the one to work just for GP. Because I had a technical difficulty problem with it too. But yeah, as you can see, the phone's powered on. You can unplug it from your USB cord too. I just kept mine plugged up. <clears throat> and like I said, it's going it's going to be back to factory. So you will lose all your apps and your own text messages. But if you wanted to keep your text messages, you just go to the Android market and download SMS backup and restore. Alright, here we go. I'm going to skip everything.
couple things that you want to do is hit the menu button, go to settings, go all the way to applications, and you go to development, you click on USB debugging, make sure you have that check, always click stay away, stay awake too, but you don't have to. And then fast boot, make sure you uncheck that. If you don't uncheck it, then you have to take your battery out after you power off your phone and put it back in. But if you uncheck it, then you don't have to take your battery out. All right, the phone is powered off. Oh yeah, no video from the AC, the um, Evo 3D, by the way. Just press and hold the on volume button and press and hold the power button in your boot up to bootloader. Just like I had told you. And if you look at the top of your phone, your phone will now say unlock. And what you do is you go to fast boot and press power. And then it say fast boot and then you plug in your phone. It say fast boot USB. Now, come back here, click into your command prompt, and now we're about to flash recovery. Okay, now, as you can see, I have my recovery right there. So what you type in is, okay, I'll give y'all the steps to it just so y'all can keep focus on where I'm at. Never mind, I don't see it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what you type in. You type in fast boot. Flash. Recovery. Space recovery. And I'm typing in the name of that file right there. It's recovery dash R A dash supersonic dash V two dot three dot IMG. Don't forget to put the dot IMG and it'll say finish. It'll read it. If you don't put the IMG, then it will not read it. Trust me, I tried it. I did it, and it did not read my image. But on now, to come back here. I don't know what's going on. And you type on, you click on bootloader. And then you go, after you read the file, You go down to recovery, and then you hit the power button. And now your phone should boot up into recovery mode. As you can see, RA recovery V2.3. And you go and you go down to mounts and you mount your SD card. Hold on. Let me show y'all again. We go down to mounts and go to mount SD card. Oh no, never mind. My mistake. What you do is you go to um you see it say USB MS toggle when you go back and it's under reboot system now you go to USB MS toggle and you hit enter and it should say this you should say USB enabled and then you come back to your computer and 
and you wait for it to read, okay, it should pop up and you just hit enter. And now, back into that file with the R on the root one file that I have you, where you put your flash recovery image in, you should see this file called su-2.3.6.3. What you do is you press and hold it, and you drag it over and you just put it on, on the root of your SD card and you let it go and then read it and once it's read it, see it's on the root of my SD card and then you just come back to your phone and you press power to disable and as you can see that disappeared okay you come to your phone and you go to flash zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card and you go down and the file as you can see is right to the bottom you go down this is this gives you super user access this is the root this is when you flash you press power and then you press power again and you let it flash it's flashing super user for your phone installing super user this is what gives you root access this is the last step that you have to go through all right, and after it has flashed, you just hit power for return, and then again, power for reboot system now. And your phone will do this. It's normal. That means it's working. So don't be alarmed. You can unplug it from your computer then. And you just wait for the phone to boot up. Phone is powering on now. Alright, phone is back on. Now what we do is right after your phone load up. This is how you know you got super user access. You go to your apps and you go down. And if you see it right there, super user, that means your phone is now rooted. That means your phone is rooted and there you have it. You are now rooted with an unlock HTC Evo with HBoot 2.18.0001. Um, any comments, you know, comment the video if you have any questions. I will respond back, comment, rate, and subscribe. All right, one.